In this short tutorial, we'll be writing the electron configuration of several different elements. To do this, you'll need to know the diagonal rule, and the diagonal rule is a guideline explaining the order in which electrons fill the orbital levels. The order in which the electrons fill these orbitals is shown underneath. For example, the 1s2 orbital is always filled first, and it can contain two electrons. Then you have the 2s2 level, and that's filled second, and that holds two electrons, and so on. In question number one, we're asked, write the electron configuration for each element. We start with magnesium, and magnesium contains 12 electrons. So, we distribute two of these electrons into the 1s orbital, leaving us with 10. Then we have two into the 2s orbital, because it holds a maximum of two as well. Then six into the 2p orbital, as it holds a maximum of six electrons. And finally, two into the 3s orbital. That adds up to 12. Now, of course, you can write this down in a shortened way. You can write down neon 3s2, because neon contains 10 electrons, and you're left with 3s2. The next element that we have is phosphorus, and phosphorus has 15 electrons. So following these rules, we have 1s2, 2 electrons in the first, 2s2, 2 electrons here, that's 4, 11 more to go. Now we open up 2p, 2p, and you can have up to 6 in this one. That's 10 altogether. We have 5 more left. In the 3s shell, we have 2, 3 more left. And we end off with 3p. We'll put 3p3. Of course, you can shorten this the same way we did here. Recall that all of this was neon. So all of this will be neon, and e and you write these next to it. Moving on to bromine. Bromine has 35 electrons. We distribute two of these into the 1s orbital, two into the 2s orbital, six into the 2p orbital. So let's write that down. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So far that's 10. Then we have 3s2, 3p6, six, that's so far 18. And remember, following the order of the diagonal, after 3p comes 4s, that houses two. Then we have 3d, that holds up to 10 electrons. And then 4p, so let's count how many we have so far. Two plus two plus six, that's 10, 16, 18, 20, 30, we need five more, and we know this holds up to six, so we'll write down five. And to shorten this, everything after this part can be written as argon, which is the noble gas, or the inert gas, that is less than 35, but closest to it. And we write down 4s2, 3d10, 4p5. Mind you, I corrected the short form for argon. It should be A and little r. And finally, for part D, we have aluminum. Aluminum has 13 electrons. 1s, 2 here, 6 here. That's 10. Going this way, another 2, and only 1 in here. You don't need to write that superscriptive one. And of course, we can shorten this by writing out neon 3s2 3p. Those are the answers to question number one. If you want to see the answers to question number two, make sure that you watch part two of this lesson.